Hello everyone, Beata here. Welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabrics Season 1. Today we're looking at linen. If you follow me on social media, you probably know that I am the biggest linen fan ever. So I am very happy to do this episode. Linen is one of the oldest fabrics that us as humans have been using. It is one of the oldest cultivated plants in human history. Linen comes from the flax plant. I'll put up a picture of what the flax plant looks like. The growing cycle of the flax plant is super short with only being 100 days from planting it to sowing it. The cool thing about the flax plant is that the entire plant can be used in the production of linen clothing. So the fibers from the roots as well as the actual plant are used. And it's known to be one of the world's finest pieces of fabric. Growing flax requires no irrigation and very little to no use of chemicals. The fact that every single part of the plant is used means that there is no waste. The plant actually gets pulled out of the ground to ensure that the entire plant is extracted. The flax plant is fully recyclable and fully biodegradable. Therefore, the impact on the environment throughout the process is minimal. The fabric is durable, it is comfortable, it is highly absorbent and it's got thermal insulation. It's hypoallergenic and lint-free. Most of the linen fabric we know is grown in Europe. It's got ideal soil and temperatures. As a fabric, it is a bit more shiny than cotton and it creases a bit more easily. Something to be aware of is because the fabric is such a sought after fabric, there are many fakes in the market. So an easy way to just check that it's 100% linen is by looking at the little label inside that I showed you in the introduction of the season. The texture of linen doesn't really differ all that much, so I'm not going to show you too many items um, as an example. But let me show you this. This is a pair of pants that I made myself. It is 100% linen and it wears so extremely well. It, I love, love, love this color. Um, it's so rich and you can see that it's also almost at a bit of a shiny type of um, look to it. And it actually goes so nicely with the top that I'm wearing today. This is a beautiful um, white linen top that I made a couple of years ago and I've worn it so much. And to show you, the underarms doesn't have any yellow to it, which just shows you that if you use 100% pure linen, you don't have to worry about that yellow underarm stain that some t-shirts and things might have. Most of the linen items I own is actually all handmade by myself. But this is another top that I own. It's a long sleeve white shirt. as you can see um, but the big difference is and I could easily see this the linen is definitely thinner on this top in comparison to the white one that I just showed you it just shows you I bought a higher quality linen which means that top will might last me a bit longer and this is um, a top that I bought in store and it's definitely a thinner linen be careful when buying linen. They often mix it with so many other fabrics and you don't want that. You want 100% pure linen. With this top, you'll see it's definitely got a bit more of a shine to it in comparison to the other fabrics that I'll be showing you, such as the white one. Um, and it's also got a bit of a, almost a color difference. It's got pink and orange in it. And it's because different um, fibers of the, different yarns have different colors. I'm gonna try and bring it even closer. There you'll be able to see that some of the yarns are a lighter color and some of them are a bit more on the pink side. Let's look at the general pros. As I've mentioned, it is extremely breathable, similar to cotton, but I'd say it's even lighter than cotton most of the time. It is extremely durable. I have linen items that I've owned for years and they still look excellent. 
It is extremely lightweight, it is highly absorbent, which makes it a beautiful summer fabric because it absorbs any moisture or sweat you might be having and doing a quick wash removes all of that. Make sure that when you buy, you buy 100% pure linen. If it is mixed with synthetic fibers, you won't get that same effect of it looking um, spotless over a long period of time. And you might also get sweat marks if you have synthetic fibers in your blend. The long-term effect is that it lasts so extremely long. As mentioned before, it is 100% lint-free and it's also a hypoallergenic fabric. The cons. It does wrinkle quite a lot, so you do need to iron it. But to make your ironing work less is give it a good, 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 good shake when it comes out of the washing machine. Put it on a hanger and let it dry like that. That way it will wrinkle less and that way you will reduce your ironing time. The fiber can shrink, so it's important to wash it at the right temperature, which is usually 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. The environmental pros. It needs less pesticides and water in comparison to something such as cotton. It is 100% biodegradable. All parts of the plant are being used, meaning there is less waste. And it is fully recyclable. The cons. It can be dyed with toxic chemicals, but this can also be avoided when you choose environmentally friendly brands. Follow me on Instagram because I often post stories and photos of the things that I'm making. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Bye everyone. This video is tailored towards fabrics and fibers, but I quickly do want to mention uh, flax oil. It's got great omegas in for you. And also if you eat the seeds um, just as they are, they're really great for your digestive system and they've got lots of fiber. Amazing, amazing flax plants.